it's not good news that's breaking for the Colorado Avalanche. Nathan McKinnon out two to four weeks with the upper body injury sustained on this hit with Edler in the game against the Canucks. Our guys took to the rink to break this play down in depth. Jamison Quayle take it away. Of course, Nathan was trying to deliver that hit. He was the one supposedly delivering that blow, yet he's the guy coming away banged up. Take us through this scenario and why it worked out that way. Well, it worked out that way, Neil, for me, because, you know, you look at Edler, and Edler is one of the best at doing that. He's done it to me before where I've lost my breath. I know how big he is, how strong he is. And he just, you know, sometimes when you go to hit yourself, you, you, you brace yourself for that instant, that second that you're going to hit him. And right there, Hedler steps into him. It kind of reverse body checked him. And then you're not quite ready for it. You're not prepared for it. And it hits you in a way where when you're not fully prepared, you know, Neil, it's often a difficult situation to see. Yeah, you go in to be the hitter or go in to get the puck and you end up being knocked down by the other guy because he got his, uh, his body squared up a little bit quicker than you could. The hit E becomes the hit er yeah. in that situation. And, so let's hit each other and demo this thing. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, you know, I played against Hedler, and and the fact how it happened is Hedler's got the puck, and he sees, you know, he sees number. He's got his face towards the board. He's up against the board, and then as, you know, McKinnon gets closer, McKinnon's bracing himself to hit him, and then Hedler just, you know, reverse him, leans into him a little bit earlier than McKinnon anticipated. McKinnon's a big, he's a strong guy. Like, yeah. He's not going to go down when he hits. He's got so much leverage with his feet. He's got so much balance, but he just wasn't quite ready for that hit. And Hedler knows, because he's been around so long, that I got the, I'm facing the boards. Where, where are they coming at me now? And he puts his eyes up and sees him and gets ready and goes. And I, I remember Chelios used to do that, too, when you're in the boards, because you're going to get creamed if you don't defend yourself. Yeah, brace for impact. Uh, somebody was saying the other night, Peter Forsberg, one of the best, did. Yeah, absolutely. Delivering the reverse blow in that situation. Absolutely. And for him, it was, it was a tool that he used to possess the puck a little bit longer. So as you were defending him, and a lot of the guys still do it. I mean, maybe not the reverse check that Peter Forsberg was so famous for, but you look at guys like Sidney Crosby, you look at guys like Evgeny Malkin, they use their body to shield the puck. So maybe sometimes, you know, they'll lean up against a defender and just give them a little tug, you know, to give themselves, you know, space and time, you know, to make their plays and to hold on to the puck a little bit longer. And players that put their shin out so that you, that you can chop away at their shin pad. You'll never get to the puck, right? There's guys trying to get over at the puck, but they're hit, you've got your leg out, so they're just hitting your leg all the time. It's a game of inches. You have to win your one-on-one -on -one battles, and right now those are all tools that you can use. Those, those are stuff that, you know, you can do to prevent the, the opponent from taking the puck away from you. And all the good players, they all have kinds, all kinds of different tricks. What Neil is talking about, it's true. You see it all the time. You see guys coming down on the defenseman. The defenseman's going to reach a stick, and then all of a sudden that leg comes in front. You protect it with your body. You can protect the body from the defenders by giving them a little shot early. Maybe you give an advantage. You get some distance. You know, you're yeah. trying to create space. You're creating time. Uh, trying to create time got it got it right this Nailed time it. but you know I, I mean for me it's it's fun to watch but it's not fun to see an injury like this but it's fun to see how guys are trying to implement some of the tools that they have to help their team and to help their team have more puck possession time i would ask you how to avoid a big hit like that but before coming on you told us that when you heard footsteps going into the corner you were just like <laughs> see you later but if you're in a situation where you know you're going to take the brunt of a big impact. Is there a way to prevent injury or at least give yourself the best chance to not be injured on a big to impact? To me, the tighter you get to the boards, the better off you are because you can't get – the worst thing that could happen is if you're this far from the boards like this. Yeah. And now you get hit and you fly into the boards. If you can just at least get against the boards, there's not much you, – you, there's nobody you, – you, the boards are going to take the impact you're not going to take it, right or wrong. Absolutely. And I think that for me, you know, like we see the puck protection. You know when you go in the corner how close the guy is. So if Neil is right on me, you know, and I'm going to, into the corner, well, then, you know, maybe I don't need to turn. But if Neil's got distance from me, he's coming at me, I'm going to put myself in a position where he's not going to see my numbers, where I'm not going to go head first into the board. I want to put myself in a position where he – hits me, I'm sideways, you know, I'm just going to bounce off the board, I'm staying real close, so put yourself, especially for the kids watching at home, put yourself in a position where, you know, when, when guys have distance with you like that, try to face them or try to be in a position where you're going to be parallel to the board, where you're not going to go head first into the board.
don't take this the wrong way, but the only reason I agreed to do this demo with you guys on taking a hit was because Scott Stevens, Stu Grimson, and Mike Rupp. <laughs> That's why.